Okay, <clears throat> going on to page 99, problem 6. For numbers 6a through 6c, write an equation or a comparison sentence using the numbers on the tiles. So here are the numbers on the tiles. Okay, we can only use these numbers to go into these different boxes. Okay, we're going to look at the models to help us figure out. Okay, so blank times as many as blank is blank. Okay, so we have 4, so we know we're going to be using a 4 somewhere most likely. So we're going to be using the 4. Uh, 32, that's how many total we have. So we know we're going to be using the 32 because we have 32 right here. We have fours here. Now let's see how many fours we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I see. This is just eight, and then this is showing that each one of these is four. Okay. So four times as many as, or excuse me, let's do the eight here. 8 times as many as 4 is 32. And the order, if you put the 4 first and the 8 second, that is, I, I would still accept that as the correct answer. Okay, let's go to B. Again, we can only use these numbers. We've used the 4, the 8, or excuse me, the 4, the 32, and an 8. Okay, we use 8. 32. So we've already used these ones. Okay, let's go to the next problem. We have 8s, so we know we're going to be using the second 8. Notice they gave us another one. 48. Okay. And let's see how many 8s um, they gave us here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And sure enough, there's a 6. You can already see, if you notice, here's a fact family here, so it makes sense that these are the ones left. Okay, so 6, which is where we knew we were using a 6, because there were 6 eighths here, times 8 equals 48. So now I've used all of these numbers. I used the second 8, I used the 48, I used the 6. So now all I have left is this 3, 9, and 27. 9, it, tell, it shows us 9, so I write a 9, times, times, as many as 3, 3, is, is is our equal sign, 27. And now I've used all the numbers from the tiles. Okay. All right, now I'm ready for number 7 says multiply 7 times 43. For 7a through 7d, select true or false for each statement. Okay, so I'm going to first do what the problem says, multiply 43 times 7. So I come over here, I go 43 times 7. Again, you could break this up into expanded form and do 40 and 3 and multiply those both by 7. I'm going to go ahead and regroup. 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28, plus the 2 more, that's 30, so 301. Okay. Now, first one says a reasonable estimate of the product is 280. Oh, I'm losing, there we go. A reasonable estimate of the product is 280. Well, if we estimated this, remember estimating is kind of like rounding. If we estimate to the furthest number out or round to the furthest number out, that would be the 4. It's got a 3 behind it. So that would be 40 would be a good estimate because 43 is closer to 40 than it is to 50. And I did 40 times 7 which I already did down here when I did 7 times the 4. 7 times 4 is 28, add my 0, 280. So would that be a reasonable estimate? Yeah, that would be exactly what I would estimate that answer to be. So I'm going to mark that as true. Okay, using partial products, the products are 21 and 28. So remember, partial products are when we break this, this multiplication problem 
into its parts, so 40 plus 3. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to break it into 40 and 3, and I'm going to times them both by 7. I think my handwriting is getting a little better. Well, I've already done this one, 280. And I've done this, and then 3 times 7, I did it down here. It's still, it's still 21. So 21 is one of my partial products, but is 28 one of my partial products? No, my other partial product is 280, not 28. So this is false. That's not true. Okay, number 7C says using regrouping, 21 ones are regrouped as 110 and 2 ones. Well, if we had 21 ones, that's the same thing as just the number 21 which we know 21 is how many tens? Two tens, and it's saying it should be one ten, but we know 21 is two tens. So that's false as well, that's not true. And then 7D, we've already found the product, remember the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. The product is 301, and we saw here that yes, in fact, when we multiply seven times 43, we do get 301, so that one's true. Okay. Now for this last one, again, I'm going to erase all my work. I don't want you guys to erase your work. You have scratch paper. I don't. You guys are lucky. So I'm going to erase all of this and bring my pen back. And I'm going to start working on this one, number 8. It costs 9,328 points to build each apartment building in the computer game Big City Building. So first thing I want to underline that important information. It costs 9,328 points to build each apartment building. So this is important. Every single one costs 9,328. What is the cost to build five apartment buildings? So every apartment building costs 900 9,000, excuse me, 328 points. So the first apartment building, it's going to cost me 9,328. I build another one, that's another 9,328. I build another one, that's another 9,328. So for each one I build, it's another 9,328. And I want to build five. Okay. Now, I could just add these up. I could add... Make sure I have five of them, 3,228, 9,328, and I could add these up, but there is a faster way. We can multiply. So how many 9,328s do I have? Well, I already said I have, look in our problem, I have five of them. So 9,328 times five. Okay, and again... You can add these, like we showed down here. You can break it up into expanded form and do 9,000 times 5, 300 times 5, 20 times 5, and then 8 times 5, and add your partial product. I'm going to do this one by regrouping. Okay, so 5 times 8, that's 40. 0 goes down. 4 goes into the tens place. 5 times 2 is 10, plus the 4 that I carried into the tens place. That's 14 hundreds, which is 40, 4 tens and 1 hundred. 5 times 3, that's going to be 15 plus 1. That's 16 hundreds, which is 6 hundreds and 1,000. And then 5 times 9, which is 45, plus 1 is 46,000. 46,000. So there's all my work. I've shown my all my work. Now you guys can probably show it all in this box. But again, I have this. Uh, I got to write on the computer, which is a little more challenging. But 46,640 is our answer. That's how much it would cost to build those in this game. All right. Thank you for going over page 99 with me.